recording this video um, during the Great British Sampler Weekend comes to America. We're at the Woodcliffe Hotel in Victor, New York. Um, today is the anniversary of the passing of this wonderful young man, Nathan Sheffield Gay. Um, Nathan was Melissa's son and we've got an announcement to make on the anniversary of his death and I'm going to leave it to Melissa to talk further. Thank you Nicola. We are excited about this project. Um, Nathan was a wonderful young man. He was only 32 years old when he passed away. He lived in an adopted state of New Mexico. He fell in love there. Uh, with the Dream Tree Project, which this is going to be part of. In just a moment, you'll understand what I'm talking about. I was given a, an antique sampler by a young man who lives in our community in, in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And he asked me to find my friend who lives in England and to have her reproduce it for me and then to sell it in memory and in honor of Nathan and to the proceeds to go to a, a charity of our choice and we have chosen the place that Nathan loved and it's the Dream Tree Project in Taos, New Mexico. He was uh, on staff there. Um, he loved working there. He's an outdoor kind of guy and he loved working there. So uh, he loved my stitching though too and he was learning to knit when he passed away. He, he always tried different things, um, even the needlework. Um, Nathan's uh, passion was music and art. He was wonderful at this. But he loved the fact that I had some kind of artistic ability, and so this sampler is part of my artistic ability. Uh, Anne Pierce is the lovely uh, sampler that's in front of me. Anne was uh, eight years old when she stitched this. I still can't imagine an eight-year-old sitting there and doing this, but it is a lovely sampler. It is mostly cross-stitch over two. It has a little bit of queen stitch, a very small bit, and a little bit of uh, stitching over one but mostly it is a sampler of cross stitch over two. When asked to do this, everybody jumped on board, uh, just jumping in to help me on this project to get it kicked off. And uh, this was the weekend that Nicola asked if I would please present it at this weekend. So that's what I'm doing. And my friend, Kathy Markham, who's sitting right here, she, uh, when she was asked to do something, one of the smalls, um, she jumped in too. And, she, I'll, ask, I'll get her to tell you what she did. And my friend Debbie Abel, who lives in Kentucky, also worked on some smalls and she did a, the pin cushion and the um, scissor fob. All of these uh, patterns are in the project. That is a PDF download um, that you all are be able to purchase tonight, as a matter of fact. Kathy, why don't you tell them a little bit about yours? Okay, the first thing was the drum. And um, I took elements out of the sampler to chart the drum pattern. I took the border out of the sampler and used the top and bottom and took the tree. And we modified the tree just a little bit. Melissa helped me chart it. And, um, but used the tree mainly as it was. I put Nathan's initials on there and the year of his passing last year. Melissa wanted to say something about a mother's love, so I put on there that a mother's love lasts forever, because it does. And then it had a little duck yeah. in the sampler, and so I took the ducks and made a mother duck and little baby ducks <laughs> trotting along behind her on each side of the tree. And can I tell you that learning to chart when I got those ducks reversed and put them on both sides, <laughs> I shouted a little bit. But anyway, I enjoyed learning to do that. And then I, I just put some um, French General fabric on the top and bottom with the chenille trim around the top and bottom. And then I made the berry. You want to hold that up, Nicola? Let them see the berry. I just really took a, a motif out of the sampler and I put the bird, which is also in the sampler, but I put the bird up there at the top of the bouquet. So and uh, did a little wall top on it. And so that's what I did. And I appreciate Melissa asking me to do it. It's a great thing to do. I had to go to friends who can sew because I don't sew. And Kathy and Debbie did an excellent job, both of them. Uh, Debbie's pattern was obviously the motif, the center motif of this same sampler. 
and Debbie then decided to chart uh, this Gone But Not Forgotten, which is exactly true of our Nathan. Um, it's a blessing to have friends who can be so creative and do these things. And of course they took uh, linen right out of their stash. And then we stitched with, um, I do believe, silks. And um, Debbie stitched with DMC, I believe. And then she made the little scissor fob, which was a special surprise for me. This chart has been an absolute joy to be working on, especially because friends got involved. Stitching friends are just the best. Uh, there were other people that were involved in this project all along, but I cannot thank um, Dream Tree for being available and wanting to be a part of this project. They loved Nathan, and uh, I, I got to meet some of the employees that came to Nathan's memorial service last year that we had his celebration of life. Um, in Taos, New Mexico last November, and I got to meet some of them and they were just delightful and just always had such lovely things to say. The stitching community just is a wonderful community of stitchers, and I hope that you will um, enjoy stitching one of the smalls or the sampler because Dream Tree is a wonderful youth shelter and adult shelter with families. Um, there, there's several different projects that they are involved with but it is a fabulous organization and I hope that you will um, download this chart and stitch the chart, stitch the projects, and it will be a great benefit to Dream Tree. With the PDF, um, you will get a multi-page colored chart of the sampler and a single page color chart of the sampler. There is also a graph in the PDF for the drum, the berry and the pin cushion. So there are four projects within the PDF for you to stitch. Um, when Melissa told us that she had been given this sampler, it was her friend's privilege and honour to support you in this. And we hope that this has helped. It's been wonderful. It's been a hard year. Um, like I said, this is the anniversary of his death. Um, so we are going to celebrate his life. Yes. He was a wonderful young man and he loved to celebrate. We both love to laugh. So um, this will be a time that we can honor him and in doing so, then we benefit the Dream Tree Project. So 100% of the, pr pr the, the, the many, proceeds, the proceeds mm -hmm. um, is going to the project in Nathan's memory. Thank you. Um, where? Can people purchase the PDF? There is a link that we have is Sumner Samplers, S U M N E R samplers.com. And when you go to the Sumner Samplers webpage, scroll down, you'll see a sampler at the top. That's not that, that's our first sampler that we worked on, Alethea Saunders. And then if you'll scroll down about midway through, you'll see the picture of Ann Pierce and the story behind it all the way through there. And you can, there's two or three places on that section of the page that you can purchase. And it'll take you directly to, click on that link, it'll take you directly to the Dream Tree Project page that they've created in Nathan's um, memory and honor too for this project. Okay, thank you all for listening and stay well, stay safe. Bye, bye. bye, -bye. bye. Yeah.